Those are the amazing blessings in our life. So take a moment to acknowledge that. Hello darlings and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Sadiqa and for those of you who already subscribed already know what it is. Thank you for clicking on another one. Y'all already know, y'all need to be subscribed. Okay? It's free baby. Free. Free. Let me know that you love me like I love you. All you gotta do is subscribe, boo. So darlings, as you can tell from the title of this video, this is the mid-year review. Yup. It's time, it's time to get the business in action. If you run your own business or if you work within a corporation or you know about corporations, then you know a mid-year review is something that is very common within the professional realms. But I'm going to be able to show us how we can apply this mid-year review to all of our lives. The mid-year review is all about reflecting on what you've done so far and planning for what's to come. It's that halfway point of the year where you see how has the start of your year gone and how do you want the rest of your year to go. And you want to see at the start of the year you set all these goals and you had all these plans. 2021 was going to be my year, 2022 or whatever year it is that you're watching this. This is my year, you said at the start of the year. So at this halfway point, you wanna see what has happened so far. Has it really been your year? So the mid-year review isn't just a dissection of your life or to just rip yourself apart or to rip apart your goals or the things you haven't been able to do or the things you have been able to do. This isn't an ego stroke and this isn't a bashing. This is a time to really just get in tune with yourself and understand what it is that I've been going through in my life. What it is that maybe I've been missing on the day to day because I've been caught up. And how can all of these things now help me in where it is that I am going? Because in life we're continuously growing and evolving. We're continuously changing. And we're continuously having different opportunities and experiences. So as you're able to take the time out to understand what has happened, you are able to truly get in tune and also appreciate what is to come. When we ask ourselves these important questions, we're able to take some time out for reflection. And reflection is so important in life because sometimes we're so busy living and working and getting day to day and doing the next thing and planning for the next thing that we don't even realize all the things we've been able to accomplish, all of the beautiful experiences we've been able to have, all of the amazing opportunities that have taken place, and also all of the wisdom and knowledge that all of these things has given us that we are now using in our future, or you would hope that we are using. Sometimes when we're going through difficult times or being taught something different from what we thought, it doesn't feel the greatest, but after the fact, we realize how much it's given us, how much more we've learned, how much stronger we are. And if we don't take the time out for reflection to really acknowledge all of that and become aware, then we aren't able to realize how amazing that difficult time really was. So darlings, I've got the questions and prompts here on my phone and I'm gonna be reading them out to you. As I read them out, you may wanna write these down. Writing them down out yourself is going to be really effective for you to start to get in tune and in the mindset of doing your midlife review. And also writing down is a form of therapeutic journaling and really getting in tune and in touch with your own intuition and inner voice. I will tell you that pen to paper magic is real so you may want to write these down we're gonna start off with category number one which is self it's all about you because if you aren't good and you don't know about you you ain't gonna know about nothing else in your life so we gotta start with you okay so the questions that i have here are number one how are you feeling question number two is how have you been treating yourself and be honest, if you know it's not good, it's okay. That's why we're having this moment, so that we can get it together and do better in the future. 
okay? Remember, this isn't a bashing time, and this is also not an ego rub. This is a time for reflection and growth. Question number three, has your self-care improved or decreased since the year begun? The next question is, have you been making time for your passions and dreams? Question number five, has your knowledge and wisdom improved and expanded since the year begun? Question number six is, what goals have you reached? Question number seven, and the final question for self is, what goals haven't you reached and why? So we're gonna be moving on to the second segment here and this is relationships. And I'm gonna jump right into this because I don't wanna make this video too long. So the first question for segment number two, relationships, is what relationships have changed thus far in your year? Since the year begun till now, what relationships have changed? This can be romantic, friendships, family, co-workers, whatever relationships that you wanna dissect in your life. Question number two, what relationships are currently important to you? Are there relationships that were once important that are no longer important? What's changed? What relationships are important to you now and moving forward? To the next question, number three, who makes you feel happy and fulfilled aside from yourself? I probably should have added that in section number one too. How do you make yourself feel happy? I just came up with that. So I'm gonna add it in the prompts, but just write it down. How do you make yourself feel happy? What makes you feel happy? The fourth question is, who adds to your life? And what are they adding to your life? The next question is, who is taken away from your life? What are they taking away from your life? The next question is, who do you need to confront or release? Confrontation doesn't need to be a bad thing. Confrontation could mean that you're just finally ready to have some important conversations that you've maybe neglected. Have you been harboring some feelings that you need to talk about? This may be the time to have those important conversations or confrontations so that you can effectively move forward, whether it's with these individuals or without them. The last question for segment number two is, what goals do you want to meet in your relationships moving forward? We're gonna move on to segment number three, which is career and business. The thing that keeps us going, the boss up, okay? The thing that helps us secure the bag, which is section number four. So let's get into it. The first question is, what goals have you reached in your career and business realm? Question number two, what have you achieved thus far that wasn't a goal? So what have you been able to do that maybe you didn't even write down as a set goal? Take some time to acknowledge that. Take some time to recognize yourself for doing things that you didn't even think were possible or things that you hadn't even maybe planned for. Those are the amazing blessings in our life. So take a moment to acknowledge that. The third question is, what goals haven't you reached within your career and business? And why is that? And what are you gonna do about that moving forward? Are those goals that you still want to reach? Or are they goals that you no longer care for? The next question here is, has your wisdom and knowledge expanded and grown since the start of the year within your career and business? The last question for career and business is, what do you want to plan as a goal moving forward? Or what do you want to plan in your career and business moving forward? Now we're going to go into the fourth and final segment, which is your finances. And I did this in the order of priority, I feel, in our lives because I feel like your finances is dependent on your business and career and your relationships and yourself right so i kind of did it in that order of breaking it down so as you think about yourself then think about your relationships then you can bring in the career and now you can bring in the finances which is the final part of this video so the first question is how much money have you spent since the year begun 
This may be a hard one. It may be time to pull up those receipts. A lot of the times people walk around not realizing how rich they really are until they look at how much they've spent. So take a moment and acknowledge and also have a lot of gratitude as you acknowledge that you've been blessed to even spend the amount that you have spent. The next question is, how much have you saved since the year begun? The next question, how much have you invested since the year begun? And the question that comes after that goes hand in hand with that. How much returns have you seen on your investments since the year begun? The next question here is, what goals have you been able to reach when it comes to your finances? Did you have a specific number that you wanted to reach? Did you reach that? What goals haven't you reached? Have you reached that number or not reached it? And why haven't you reached it? Or why were you able to reach that number? The next question here is, what goals have changed within your finances and why? Since the start of the year, what do you want to be different when it comes to your finances now? The next question is, how much do you currently have? Right now, out of all your money together, all of your assets, whatever it is that you consider valuable when it comes to your finances, how much do you have right now? The next question is, how much do you want to have by the end of the year? And as you think about how much it is that you want to have, think about how it is that you're going to get there. What is it that you're going to do? Start to create that plan. And final question here is, how much do you plan to save before the end of the year? So you know how much you wanna have at the end of the year, but how much do you plan to save? Cause I feel like our savings and how much you have is separate. Like, you know, how much you have is like that check-ins account. You know what I'm saying? And then how much you have saved is like, you know, that savings money and the investments. You know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't touching that. Okay. But whatever works for you, boo, do what works for you. Okay. So darlings, I really hope that these questions are able to help you kind of analyze your life, analyze what has gone on thus far, give you that mid-year review or mid-life review whether it's the middle of the month, whether it's the middle of the week, the middle of the day, you can kind of apply these questions and this concept of the mid-year review to any time in your life. And I feel like it's really gonna be helpful for you in your growth and evolution, and also helpful in taking some time to acknowledge and be grateful and raise your vibration, which is what we're all about. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that I was able to cover everything in this video. If you have any questions at all, please comment down below and I will be sure to answer them. Be sure to follow me on all of my socials. Make sure you're subscribed because if you've made it to the end of this video, then you clearly like my vibe like I like you. So you better subscribe, boo. But I love you and I'm gonna leave you. Stay positive and productive in all that you do. Love and light always. And I'll see you darlings in my next one. Bye!